Okay, so did anybody have any more questions just before we go again? Okay. Okay, so we left off. Okay, so we're going to talk about two functions, the, the basic functions that allow us to get more information about the world that we live in. So we talked about communicators real quick, and we said a communicator is this abstract object, with the, which is a collection of processes. And all these processes are assigned um, some information. They're assigned, um, in particular, their rank ID. Um, so you have, so we ran with four processes earlier. So there are four processes. They're numbered from zero to three. Um, they're numbered that way in this particular communicator. We could create a new communicator and include all those four processes, and that communicator would assign IDs to those four processes, but they um, they don't have to be the same. It's not um, they're not necessarily the same um, numbering. And so, um, get rank the function that we used before takes in the communicator. The communicator is the class, and so it takes in the communicator, and we run get size on. We run get size on that communicator, and it tells us what rank is this process, what what rank um, is assigned to the calling process. So get size or, or get rank. Get size is um, just basically the same. It just tells you the size of the communicator. So we were running those programs with four processes. Get size would return four. Um, um, so it's, what's that? Yeah, which, which, uh, get rank is the rank, get size is the total number of processes. Get rank is the process. Um, short examples right here. Um, this is just a note about, um, how Python does MPI object oriented similar to the C++ implementation that's used a lot. And then this, again, is just a note about how MPI, when we write, when we write parallel code, we can give um, explicit instructions to every process. Um, but all of those instructions are saved within only one file. So if this code here, and I'll copy it and save it into a file called here. I'm not going to call it again. Okay, so this code, again, every process has its own copy. Every process imports the MPI module from the MPI for Py package. Then, uh, just to make this nicer. Um, every we set up the communicator, or we just call it com. The default is created already, um, and then we run the get rank method on com, and each process will save it into rank. And so each process is going along. They're they're not in sync, but they all run this. They'll save. They'll save. Uh, six into the variable A, three into B, and then here is how, just to demonstrate how we have only one code, but three different processes are doing completely different things. So process zero, um, when so each code is going to get to this part. Each process is going to be running the code. It'll get to here, and so every process has the variable rank but they're all different numbers. 
And so process zero is going to get here and it'll succeed and so it'll go into this print. But when process one gets here, it'll get here and it won't do anything, it'll move on. And so process one is going to get here and it'll succeed and it'll run this print. But it won't do this because its rank is not equal to two. So each process is separated, but it's all one code. So was there a question? Okay. So let's just run this real quick. Um, I only have three processes here, so I'll just run it with three processes this time. Three. And then Okay, so you see we have three returns. Um, each process calculated each of these and printed it completely independently. Um, yeah, no, so one thing is, um, no, they, they won't print in order at all. And so actually we don't know which is computing which here. And that is one of the reasons why we would like to say something like process the rank uh, gives something like this. Let's save that. And now we know which process is giving, giving what. And they're in a different order from before. So that's just one of the, one of the things we'll do when we're debugging. Um, okay. So we just talked about um, our two, we talked about the way that MPI programs run. It's the one one file, but in essence, they're uh, they're instructions given to all different processes, but they're all in one file. We talked about two different functions: the get rank and the get size function. Let's add in get size real quick here, just to show that. We have the size, so we see how size works. It's just three. Um, and just to demonstrate, we can run this with, say, 10 processes. And again, there's only three because all the other processes didn't have any instructions. All the other processes ran this part of the code, so they all saved A and B, but they never printed anything because they didn't have instructions to do so. Um, so again, we talked about get rank, get size, and the way that programs are written. And that's the end of the first chapter. So here, there's just three exercises um, on that chapter. And we'll just have those done by the, by the, next, the next lecture. Yeah, Python 26 just on the supercomputer, there are two versions of Python. There's Python 2.3 and 2.6. So you just have to specify um, on the supercomputer that you're using 2.6. And that's, um, that's just unique to the supercomputer here. Um, any other questions? Okay.